Hello, Tom here. Once again, I thought I'd do a very quick video talking about this disgraceful looking contraption here on my desk. Don't worry, I've not tried to uh, create some kind of horrible AI brain. It's, uh, it's actually an OSSC. For those who don't know, it's an open source scan converter. This is the Kaiko version, Kaiko Labs, which comes in this little black box, unlike any, any of the other versions which come in the sort of the wedge of a wafer form. However, you might be thinking, well, what the hell is that on top? Well, as I said, this is the OSSC, and the OSSC only takes inputs from RGB compatible systems, game systems. So you can see here, I've got the PS2 here, I've got the original Xbox. Obviously these things don't really come into the equation, but um, to play things like these on a 4K TV, which is there, I'm not gonna show you the full screen because I'm sat here in my, not quite my pants, but near as damn it. And the reflection is quite, uh, quite apparent because I've recently polished the screen anyway. Uh, the OSSC is for playing old systems on new TVs. And I just thought I'd show this because I've got it. And um, yeah, I haven't really got much to talk about when it comes to motorbikes. So I'll turn it on and then I'll just waffle about it while I'm messing with it. So I've got it all hooked up. I'm going to turn it on here. It's got a nice little display on the front. And here I've updated it to the latest firmware, which is 1.11 at the time of recording this. And then this thing on top is called the add-on board. And what this does is it allows you to connect consoles which don't have an RGB signal. So things like the N64, for example, unless you mod them. And what this does, is it takes a signal either through uh, composite or S-video, and then it outputs it by messing with it somehow through magic uh, as a, an RGB signal through the SCART cable here on the back, which then goes into another SCART cable on the back of the OSSC. Hopefully you can see that. I've also got my PS2 connected by component, as you can see there. But for the purposes of this video, I'll just talk about the N64. So um, you turn it on, that comes on, and then you turn this on, and then you get a little screen that comes up here. And then that tells you what signal is connected, what the uh, upscaling is, whether you have smoothing on, which I just keep on because it makes the games look slightly nicer than they do without it. And then the output is uh, through SCART. You can also output through component, if you so desire, back into the OSSC, but it doesn't really make much difference with the, uh, the N64. So... That's the Frankenstein's monster on the desk. Apologies for the wires. That's just how I like to roll. But uh, I'll now turn the N64 on and show you what it looks like on the 4K television, which I'm not going to show you while it's off. Right, so now everything is on. This is what shows up on the screen when there's no like input from a, a console. Does this kind of colour splash thing showing... Uh, Rather nice, sharp display. I'll now turn the N64 on and show you what uh, what happens. Before I do that though, I just want to talk a little bit about this system. This is a Japanese N64. It's completely original. Uh, I've got the N64 expansion pack in there as well. Not that it makes much of a difference on, uh, on this thing, but I've also got the Summer Cart 64, which is the open source uh, flash cart for the for the Nintendo 64 with the, uh, it's got the um, SD card in there at the side. It's also got a USB on the side there as well. And there's a little button on the back so you can press that to do the uh, the old 64DD disc swapping. If you've seen a modern vintage gamer gamers video on this thing, you'll know all about that. But um, here it is, my uh, completely original N64 just going to turn the uh, bad boy on and then here we go here is the the menu for the summer cart 64 so these games at the top don't load because they're all with the little dot in the front of them but if i scroll down you'll find the games that will load 
So, uh, what shall I play? I'll play Cruising Exotica, because I quite like that game. There's me. Hopefully I'm not too distracting for you. Indeed, you go girl. So yeah, there it is working on the 4K TV. It's probably not bringing out the best. It's not amazing by any means, but it's still very playable. I could mess about with the settings more, but I'm not too bothered. It works and I can play it and it looks all right. So um, yeah, that is the uh, Kaiko OSSC with the add-on board playing with my N64 and I'll just show you what it looks like So yeah, that's uh, that's it, basically. Um, if you want to play old consoles on a new TV, there's probably not a more affordable way to do that than with uh, these two contraptions. They are available on the internet in various places in various different design types for probably cheaper than I paid for this one. Uh, but the Kaiko add-on board was like £37. And I don't think it's actually cheaper anywhere else on the internet at the moment. So, well, at the time of recording this video. So, I mean, I can't fault it. It, it does everything I want it to. I've played my Saturn on this. I've played my PS2. i played my Xbox through it. Um, you know, the, the images are not like HD quality, but you're never going to get that with all the systems. But they are extremely playable and at least they actually put out a decent image on the screen. So, what do I think? Well, I think if you've got old systems, then you need at least a Kaiko, um, or an OSSC rather. Like I say, there are other versions available, possibly cheaper than this one. Uh, and I would also recommend the add-on board, just because of the extra inputs that it allows. You know, you will end up with something that looks like this, with wires everywhere, and looking like a bit of a mess, you know, but um, ultimately it's uh, something you've got to live with if you want to play old machines on modern systems. I mean, you could just get an, a CRT TV, which I do have, and that negates all of this, but if you just want the ease of putting it all on a modern telly, you can't see my reflection anymore, but uh, put it on a modern telly, then this is kind of what you need. Again, there are other things, there's like retro tink and all the rest of it, um, but for the money, um, you can't go wrong with this stuff. I'll probably get destroyed in the comments for saying that, but, you know, I don't care. This is just my experience. Anyway, thank you for watching. Very cheap, very nasty, very dirty video, but uh, I just thought I'd put something together while I uh, had the inclination. So, yeah, thanks for watching, and uh, next time I might have something to do with bikes or something that you're actually interested in. So, yeah, thanks for watching.